Holy Shani Wonse. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tembi Fletcher, if it's your first time here, and I'm so glad that you decided to stop by. So I'm finally bringing you another fashion video. I've been wanting to do this for the past week and haven't been able to, but I'm filming it right now and I can't wait to show you what I have in store for you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this video. So today I'd like to share some ideas on how I style my blazers in the fall. This is one of the best ways that I get to really exhaust my fall outfits and I think that you're going to find it very helpful as well. So today I'm going to start by showing you blazer number one. This is a beautiful deep, well a beautiful poppy red and this is by Mr. Executive, a brand called Mr. Executive. I thrifted this probably four or five years ago. It must have been, it's been a while since I thrifted this and it's extremely good quality. Let me just bring it up close. I know the lighting isn't that great because it's starting to get dark very quickly, but it's a very, very beautiful blazer. Not only is it structured, it's kind of like, it's in between for me. It's not extremely stiff, but it's got a certain level of structure as well as a certain level of how can I say, flair or maybe just like casualness to it um, or relaxation, a, a certain relaxed fit as well. So this is what I wore today. I wore, paired it with my knitted top. This is another top that I thrifted and I decided to put on this blue plaid scarf, just tied it around my neck and I wore it with some um, old navy jeans that I thrifted as well. Basically everything that I'm going to be showing you in this haul or in this video is thrifted. So that's something that you should know about me is that I thrift most of my clothes, if not all. So yeah, I had this blazer on and then I also paired it with my uh, platform boots because those are still in season. Platform shoes are still in season. And mine are from a brand called, what's the name of this brand? I think it's Universal Studio. Universal Threads rather, not Studio. Yes, it's Universal Threads. And I just love these boots. They just, they're very comfortable and they just kind of make every outfit that I wear look a lot cooler because I'm not really much of like a cool, quote unquote, cool street style dresser. I'm more of a classic type of uh, dresser. And I would definitely consider this a casual look. This is my version of a casual look. Others might consider this business casual. And so yeah, this would be perfect if you're going to maybe a casual business meeting or you're just going out to pick up your daughter like I did. <laughs> You can wear it pretty much anywhere. I'd also wear this to run errands while I'm running errands. And yeah, this is one way that you can definitely style it. You can also button it up. I think it looks good either way. And I think that it makes just seeing that gold pop off of it looks fantastic. And then of course, just wear it open too to give it more of that casual feel. And so this is look number one. And now let's move on to the next um, idea, outfit idea. So the second blazer outfit, I have a business suit. So this is more of a formal attire. You can definitely wear this to work or you can wear it to church or anywhere that's quite formal and requires more of like a suit type of attire. And this is just one of my favorite suits that I own. This is probably the one that fits me the best, for sure. And it's a tailored, was tailored in the US. I don't know who, what's, okay, the name is Botany 500. I'm assuming that it's a vintage suit. I'm not too sure. I don't know too much about um, vintage brands and, or suit brands. And I just love the navy blue color. And I know it's kind of hard to show you the stripes right now because of the lighting. I might have to take my ring light out 
um, once it starts getting darker, but hopefully we'll be done before then. Yeah, so this is a suit that I wear when I want to look really formal and really put together or give, when I want to be taken seriously. It's definitely my go-to suit. And I think to kind of just give it more of that feminine touch, I decided to wear some sandals with it. Let me show you the sandals right quick. These are platform sandals by uh, Steve Madden, and they're called the Madden Girl um, line. And I thrifted these at Dirt Cheap. They're so, so edgy. And I also like the fact that they kind of dress the suit down because it really is formal in my opinion like it's very very serious in a sense and so this just kind of helps bring it back down to earth so that you can look a little bit more approachable and then of course just with a clutch bag i think it looks really nice and this is super simple it's definitely one of those outfits that you don't really need to give too much thought into because it's just complete all by itself so just wear a nice tank top underneath for me i just decided to wear the same knitted top that i wore with the first blazer and it looks fantastic and basically that's it so that is outfit number two and now let me show you a nice edgy casual look that i have for you okay and so for outfit idea number three i wanted to go with my uh bubblegum pink uh blazer this one is one of my favorite blazers to style this season i love the fact that it's so feminine because of the color and even because of the uh the fit of it as well and I thought that it would just be nice to pair this with um, animal print just to take it up a notch because I think something extremely girly with something that's a bit more foxy or how can I put it? Is it foxy? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But it just kind of makes it look really, really nice or really, really edgy. And so I paired it with my um, animal print skirt because even though animal print is not necessarily on trend this year, I believe that it's a timeless print. And I just love that it's a pleated skirt and it's a maxi skirt as well. And then just to kind of make it look a little bit more casual, and this is another casual look in my opinion, I decided to wear my platform um, Converse inspired shoes or my platform, what can I call them? I call them Converse inspired shoes because they're not Converse, but they're kind of in that line. So yeah, I think this looks really nice. And then even to take it a little bit further, I decided to add my um, plaid, my hound's tooth. That's the that's the word that I was looking for. My hound's tooth scarf, just like this one, the blue one that I'm wearing. I decided to go for an oversized one, and I think just going for something really oversized just makes it feel like you're not really trying. So it feels like it's effortless, but you actually put in a bit of effort, if you get what I mean. And same thing, just a clutch or um, a crossbody bag. I like wearing crossbody bags, especially when I'm going running errands or I'm just going, um, I'm walking somewhere. I think crossbody bags come in handy because I don't have to be holding the bag everywhere that I'm going. And so that is outfit idea number three. I think this one is one that anybody can pull off. If I can pull it off and I don't wear too many casual clothes, I think anybody can definitely pull it off. So try it out. I hope you try it out. And feel free to tag me on Instagram. My handle is at Tembi underscore Fletcher. And yeah, so is it Tembi underscore Fletcher? Yes, it should be. <laughs> I'll put it right here. So if you happen to style any of these, um, ideas that I'm giving you just tag me and I'd love to see your pictures and also feel free to follow me on Instagram as well because I do post quite a bit on there so yeah that is number three and now and so for my evening wear I wanted to wear more of a form-fitted blazer because I think they just it helps to really make your outfit like 
evening outfit look really really sophisticated I kind of feel like if you wear something oversized then you're going for a more more of a casual look but I really wanted to go all out formal evening wear for this one with this one and so yeah I have this blazer it's a plaid blazer as well not sure I forgot what this one is it's just a type of plaid. There are so many types of plaids out there, and this is one of them. <laughs> I'm still learning my plaids, but love, love, love this one. I thrifted this probably two weeks ago, and when I wore it for the first time on Sunday, I fell in love. And so this is going to be my go-to blazer when I want to wear something a little bit more form-fitted and kind of just let my silhouette shine through. And to pair this one, I decided to pick up my little black dress because why not? This one is a ruffled one, a ruffled little black dress, and it's got a bit of lace on there as well. So perfect for dinner with Bay, with the hubby, and even for maybe like a party, dinner party, I think this would look really nice. And then just to finish it off, I've got my white and black clutch, vintage clutch, and I've got my Just Fab uh, knee-high boots. I think this just makes it look extremely sophisticated. And then of course, if it gets a little bit chilly, my houndstooth um, cashmere scarf is definitely going to come in handy. It just ties it all in together and gives it just that extra pizzazz. And by the way, this scarf is from AliExpress. It was very inexpensive, but it's super soft, super luxe. I'm going to have this one linked down below. At least I can link this one down below. And my just, just fab boots as well. So outfit number four is out of the way. And so I hope that you like this idea because I know some of you are going to be attending tons of dinner parties this festive season and so maybe you could try something like that out. and then for number five I think I'm going to go for another Christmas dinner outfit piece this one is more on the lighter side and I've got this beautiful beige blazer with me this one is oversized and you know I had told you earlier that wearing oversized blazers kind of gives your outfit makes your outfit look a lot more casual or a lot more down to earth but to elevate it and to make it feel a lot more formal I cinch my oversized blazer so basically just to give it more shape and I think that makes it look a lot more uh, formal in my opinion or a lot more put together and so super simple hack just takes your outfit up a notch and then for this one I'm wearing my satin um, dress this one is by is it Chico I'm not pretty sure I'm not sure who the brand is but I got this from dirt cheap probably three years three four years ago actually four or five years ago and I still love it so so much and then of course at the bottom I just decided to wear my sandals again my platform shoes sandals because I think that looks absolutely fabulous and yeah that's number four same thing with a clutch bag because it is dinner wear and you're going to a dinner party so you don't want to get use something that's too heavy unless you're going to be dumping food in your purse <laughs> I don't do that by the way so I hope you don't either <laughs> comment down below if you've actually done something like that have I ever done anything like that I think it was at a no I'm not going to tell my secrets because then somebody out there is going to use them against me <laughs> so I'll just zip my mouth up <laughs> and then finally I wanted to show you something that's more on I wouldn't necessarily call it casual but it's kind of you know a little bit more uh, relaxed so for a very relaxed look I usually go for this um, other checked blazer this one feels like it's a tweed I think this is a tweed uh, fabric or material I love this one when I'm just going for something that you know like more of a laid-back look but at the same time I want to look put together because 
that's just my style. I'm the type of person, even if I'm wearing sweatpants, unless, unless I'm just hanging out at home, if I'm wearing sweatpants to go out, I usually like put a blazer over them, depending on where I'm going. If I'm going to pick my daughter up, not so much, but if I'm going to like the store or I'm going to, well, I can wear just a sweatshirt and sweatpants when I'm going to the store. But most of the time, if I'm going out in public, I tend to wear blazers with my sweatpants or with my more relaxed attire. And it just makes me feel a lot more put together. That's just my personality, but yeah. So for this one, just decided to pair it with my brown pants. These are more of like a spandex type of pant. And then I decided to layer it, uh, underneath I decided to layer it with my army sweater because you know it's getting a lot colder now and it's extremely cold actually. It's been extremely cold over the past couple of days. And so just to give it more warmth and just to kind of like ground it, I feel like the wool sweater does that for me. And then, of course, just put some booties on because I feel like heels will definitely elevate your look every single time. You could be wearing um, leggings and have heels on and a sweatshirt on top and a scarf. And you, and you end up looking like you put some work into your outfit. That's how I feel about heels. And that's that. So that's everything that I had to share with you in today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and then that will help that will definitely help my channel out and it will also help me to figure out what you really like so that I can put out more videos like this in the future. And also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'm really, really grateful that you stayed all the way up until the end. So thank you so much to all of you. I really appreciate your support and until next time, God bless. Bye. Mwah.